Smash that like button, everybody. Okay, so the baby he reacts to the whole Louis Vuitton showdown, and then we got uh, also some six nine updates. Uh, yes, there are some updates. Uh, is the baby the realist in the game? Get in the comments and let me know. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Hit that bell, hit that subscribe button. Hope you guys are having a great Memorial Day, barbecuing and all that, and being safe. All right, guys, and uh, let's get right into it. Please hit that like button. Okay, so we got the baby. He's reacting here. Black Vic. I'm called the police. We'll be right back to work, man. Two shoulder then. Baby on baby out now. Yeah. Nigga love to play with me. Play Vic. So basically he's saying that this guy, uh, what's his name? Cam Coldheart. Did all that trolling, all that plan with him, trolling him in Louis Vuitton, trolling him online, and they got into a little tussle, and he called the police. It's, it's a damn shame. Drake's been trolling, uh, I don't have any pictures up there for this, but Drake has been trolling uh, Gucci Man after the Bucks game. Of course, Gucci Man was, you know, he was going for the Bucks. Drake was obviously going for, that's what I say, of course, for. He was going for Toronto. They won. First ever. Man, that's crazy. Drake was going crazy, too. He made you want to be a Toronto, uh, be a fan of Toronto at that point. Um, LA Crips filed trademark for Nipsey Hussle slogan, Marathon Continues. Uh, the Crip Incorporated. Was it Rolling 60s? Crips Holding Company. Crips LLC filed the trademark application on May 16th for Marathon Continues. Um, the goal is to use the slogans of a variety of community services, arranging and conducting youth sports programs. The documentary called The Marathon Continues was also mentioned. They're going to be doing a lot of stuff, so, and they'll keep the name. If they will fight, let's see, it's unknown at this time if Nipsey's family is on board with the Crips taking over the trademark for the slogan, or if they will fight to keep the name in the family. <laughs> Oh, gosh, it just gets so crazy. I'm sure they're all fine with it. Let's hope. Then, uh, let's see, what else do we got here? Oh, yeah. Okay, so the 6 9 updates. Let's get into that. So, what's been happening lately with 6 9 Okay, so let's get into it. We got more stuff. So... In the court, in terms of cross-examination, Mr. Leanhorn, the queen of the court, Mel and Shadi were cross-examined, um, detailing, uh, asking, de you know, getting asked detailed questions about someone, and they were being, they were technically witnesses in this trial. So, uh, and shout out to Robin Rye on this one. Um, so, there's paperwork from Mel Matrix and Shadi's hearing there's not much more to say beyond that but uh shoddy's lawyer told the judge shoddy's main concern uh told the judge shoddy's main concern uh shoddy was concerned that if he testified in court uh lance could use the information about shoddy's prior conduct to discredit him where he's cross-examined uh, one thing is that you cross-examined by co-defendants a lawyer you're testifying against them Shoddy uh, might be thinking about having to testify. He was so solid and never bends, but now he's testifying. So he, is he staying solid? Is he never bending? I don't know. I don't really care, but I think it's funny that people go so hard with that and then end up bending. Uh, this paperwork is from January 22nd. Shoddy's d d uh, statement break down full trayway. December, 30 days later, he was bending and folding like an accordion. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Shadi wasn't. Able, you're not able to view, view the evidence yet, obviously, because they still have to go to court in a couple months. So uh, Shadi was planning on telling six, like six nine, all along, most likely, just to get out of jail. Because you know what? You only get so much time on this earth, and many people don't want to do that time. That's why you don't do the crime, everybody. I appreciate you guys. Check you guys in the next one. This is George Taylor with JT News. Make sure you hit that bell. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go to Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion.com. 
where you can get things off your credit for free and you might not have to pay somebody, which is a blessing. I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day and I'll check you in the next one.